This video provides the end user with a high level overview of the Atomic Automation solution. Its purpose is to deliver the workload automation component to the IT operations business to include automation of batch, applicative, and infrastructure processes. Atomic Automation relies on a conventional technical architecture made up of a central server component called the Automation Engine, a relational database for repository of objects and operational data, a web-based user interface, and a set of agents working alongside systems and applications. These dedicated agents are installed on the very systems where applications require automation and assume those tasks. Most notably, we provide automation agents for a broad range of operating systems like Windows, Unix, Linux, and OS 390, business packages and ERPs like SAP and Oracle eBusiness, relational databases like Oracle and SQL Server, and infrastructure components like file transfers and web services. The architectural approach is conventional. It works along the principles of a tiered architecture. The product relies on a central component called the Automation Engine for design, automation, and communication, and a relational database for the storage of objects and activities. The engine's processes exist in two broad groups, work processes, or WPs, and communication processes, or CPs. WPs process individual automation commands, while communication processes support communication between the various components. Multiple WPs and CPs are active for the purposes of fault tolerance and workload balancing. Atomic provides a comprehensive list of agents, which are software components generally installed on each host where automation is required. Clients are a type of virtual subdivided segments within Atomic Automation. They provide the ability to group and segregate agents along certain requirements, like security or functional commonality. An agent can belong to multiple clients, but automation activity simply cannot be spread across multiple clients. Examples include data center versus training, or a client per database type. Clients are also useful for integrators who implement individual automation environments for each customer they support. Atop this functional architecture, you find a dedicated client zero, in which administrators store elements that are common to the entire solution, like agent configuration data, user data, and permissions. Finally, we discuss the functional capabilities. First, the UI elements are entirely accessible over a web interface organized functionally in three distinct perspectives. The process assembly perspective is dedicated to configuration design. Here, we build and configure the objects that make up an automation configuration. The process monitoring perspective is dedicated to operations management, monitoring and supervision of executions, history and logging, and error handling. Finally, the administration perspective is dedicated to administration processes such as user definition, security settings, client settings, global variables, and more. These perspectives can only access their respective client's data. If you are logged into Client 100 and connect to the administration perspective, you can only configure administration for Client 100. You will never have access to the other clients unless you are authorized to log into them. Automation configurations are designed using objects, and we have many different types. The most common ones are the jobs objects, which are basic units of automation work, file transfers, workflows, which are logical sequences of objects executing in a certain order, schedules and calendars, which together handle the bulk of the cyclical requirements, notifications, and more. Let's first log into the solution. The login screen gives you the ability to change the language and the theme color. The system supports multiple connections. The important aspects are the name fields, which is your user ID, the departments, and the passwords. All this information should be given to you by your solution administrator. You must also specify which clients you want to connect to. We start in the home perspective, which is structured using configurable dashboards and widgets, which provide shortcuts to the data and monitoring capabilities you access the most often. Your home perspective can be modified and then saved with the functions available in the toolbar at the top.
The environment is structured using perspectives, which are dedicated environments for broad sets of responsibilities, design, supervision, and administration. The process assembly perspective gives you access to the product's design capabilities. This is where developers and analysts create and configure objects and design automation configurations. The menu on the left has a number of folders dedicated to each object type, jobs, folders, and calendars. In each folder, we find the matching object type, and the objects are found in the list on the right. You are free to create new folders, but we recommend keeping this environment organized this way. It makes it much easier to navigate. In the Jobs folder, we find all jobs objects. Know that these objects' names all start with the word jobs. This is because object names have dedicated four-letter acronyms, job S for jobs, job P for workflows, JSTH for schedules, and so forth. We recommend abiding by this naming convention. In the Process Monitoring perspective, we find the operational data such as the execution history for active, completed, and failed processes. Each of these have run IDs, statuses, and are date stamped. By default, the filter tool is active on the right, but you can close it. Note that the menu on the left has several sub-menus depending on the perspective. You can click on them to open and close each menu. If you need more real estate to work, the menu on the left can be collapsed or expanded using the arrow. The Messages console is a formatted system log that generates messages on major events occurring in a solution. If an agent becomes unreachable or a job fails, you'll see it here. We'll run a job and cancel it. Our job is running on one of the Unix agents. In the Process Monitoring perspective, we can cancel it. To close a perspective, we simply hover over it until the X symbol appears. The user menu provides a few functions. You can change your password, some settings, and log out. 